doctors or men out there saying you need to come off TRT to take a break and resensitize your androgen receptors. Hey guys, so something I see online a lot and the purpose of this video is going to be looking into androgen receptor downregulation and whether it's actually true or not. So something I do see online is that people think that androgen receptors downregulate or become desensitized with long-term androgen usage, like for example, on TRT for a long period of time or cycle, and that somehow the androgen receptors become burnt out. And I've even heard doctors suggest this, that you need to come off TRT to have a break from it in order to allow the androgen receptors to have a break and re sensitize and the theory is that the androgen receptors will become less responsive to androgens and need to have a break in order to continue muscle growth if you want to stay on for a long period of time basically it's not true and i think this idea comes from the fact that thermogenic drugs like for example clenbuterol a beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist does lead to down regulation of these receptors in this study administration of a beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist like how clenbuterol works significantly reduces reduce the number of B2 adrenergic receptors after 20 hours, you can see in the chart, receptor number from the control group was significantly decreased. And I think in the fitness industry, people start to associate how these receptors work with how androgen receptors work. But there's no actual evidence that androgen receptors work in this way. In fact, looking at both testosterone and anivar, oxandrolone, which are quite often the most commonly studied androgens in the research because oxandrolone has been used for AIDS and burn patients and testosterone in TRT. But in the research, Research, if there is evidence that androgen receptors become fully saturated and desensitized, then increasing the dose of anabolic compounds should, in theory, not stimulate any further muscle growth. And yet, in research, the exact opposite occurs. Looking at both testosterone studies and oxandrolone studies, testosterone first, a study that had guys on either 125 milligrams or 300 milligrams or 600 milligrams of testosterone weekly for 20 weeks, found that higher doses led to higher muscle growth. And this is not confusing to most people, this makes sense. But if the androgen receptor desensitization theory was true, we shouldn't be seeing these results. As you can see in the charts, there was a dose dependent relationship between testosterone and androgen receptor content, as well as muscle growth. And another testosterone randomized control trial gave men 200 milligrams of tests per week and showed that androgen receptor protein and RNA content was increased significantly over the placebo group, resulting in a significant increase in muscle mass in the guys on the 200 megs of tests per week. Now, if the down regulation theory is to believe Again, we shouldn't be seeing this upregulation in androgen receptor content. We should actually be seeing a down regulation or a desensitization. But as you can see, the men receiving testosterone, which is the white bar, had significantly more androgen receptor expression in muscle than the control group. Looking at oxandrolone or anavar studies, a short-term study involving six healthy men used a daily dose of 15 milligrams of oxandrolone for five days. As you can see, again, androgen receptor expression significantly increased, just like the study before with testosterone and a significant increase in muscle protein synthesis and skeletal muscle growth as well. Muscle protein FSR, which is the fractional synthesis rate, basically saying how quickly the body is laying down new muscle fibers and creating new muscle fibers. You can see oxandrolone group significantly outweighing the control group. And then in a more extended study, different doses of anivar from 20 to 40 to 80 milligrams daily were tested over a 12 week period on HIV positive men. And they found significant increases in weight and body cell mass or muscle cell mass. And no surprise, here in the 40 and 80 milligram, the highest doses of anavar. Again, contrary to what the desensitization theory should suggest, we should be seeing diminishing returns, but the guys taking oxandrolone seem to have significant growth in muscle mass that wasn't really slowing down at any point. Now in the chart, you could argue that the 80 milligram group didn't have any real growth between weeks eight and 12, which may seem to go into the favor of the desensitization theory, but there have been multiple other studies. And for example, the testosterone studies that I mentioned earlier, prove that up until your actual genetic limit, there is no real thing as diminishing returns because the androgen receptor expression in your body doesn't get downregulated by long-term or chronic exposure to androgens. It just doesn't work like that. It's not like a beta-2 receptor where clenbuterol will significantly downregulate the expression of that. Androgen receptor expression will remain high and perhaps even be increased if you're taking anabolic compounds. So in conclusion, no, they don't become desensitized or downregulated in any significant way. And I just wanted to put this video out to debunk some of the ideas around doctors or men out there saying you need to come off TRT to take a break and resensitize your androgen receptors. You don't have to. And I really appreciate you guys watching the video and engaging. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you in the next video.